Hello everyone, I'm Sunil Jain. I'm an app developer at DSCVIT and today we're going to have a look at an amazing package of Flutter. Today we're going to have a look at Freest. Freest is yet another very good creation from Remy, the author of the provider package. So if you are a native user and if you have used Kotlin, and you love union classes, data classes, the nested union classes, you love to toggle with them. This is the perfect package for you. And if even if you don't know native, you're, you're completely a Flutter person, you may have been using packages like Equitable, JSON Serializable, then a copy with classes of producing packages. So all of these, now has a wrapper and it's freezed it is much more better than all other live uh, all other packages it's also uh, it also does not compromises with its quality as it provides a lot of things but still it has very proper support for everything so even if you are using any union classes uh, they they're not natively supported in dart but freeze auto generate it's uh, auto generates it for them so you need to write very minimal syntax and you will have all the power of nested union classes union classes sealed classes so let's try to understand it better by digging into some code here i've set up some very good examples for you to understand how exactly freeze works so over here we have a data class so firstly we'll learn how to make a data class in freeze uh, so over here firstly we, oh, uh, one node will be using the freeze annotation to make our generation uh, to mark the classes as freeze much more easier so over here as you can see we have marked uh, the freeze the, the class as freeze uh, this will help the freeze generator to identify that yes uh, it's a, i have to generate the classes for the classes for it over here as we can see we have defined an abstract class so it's very important for your class to be abstract for freeze to generate it so to generate the uh, further union data or seal classes from it uh, we then specify uh, the normal syntax of class and class name and then what we do is we say with dollar underscore and the class name then then we go on to specify a factory a constant factory with all our required fields with all the data which we want in this class and then we write this that that is equal to underscore and this class name this generates the necessary data class for us we can use it very easily like just yet another uh, classes which we write with the long syntaxes in flutter so this is how we define data class now there's one more feature which we talked about earlier in freeze it provides us all the functionality of json serializable so over you can here you can see i have just put down a, a two lines of code mentioning how i want the dot from json to be generated over here if you have if you have been uh, from the json serializable you would have seen that we use the g dot dart over there and over here also we say that we want freeze and we also want g.dart by saying this we are able to generate from json to json very easily without the use of json serializable so here we define one more factory constructor saying that uh, i'll be returning a college model from the from json part i'll be receiving the json and this uh, this is very important that we say that underscore dollar class name and after that we append from json and we pass on the json received over here or to the class underscore dollar uh, class name from json 
now this one catch over here let's see if you want to add some other conversion uh, some other custom conversion uh, method to this data class you can't do it because abstract class do not support methods we can't define methods under it and over here if you also see these factories are the constructors which we uh, are defining so now let's see if you want to do it uh, we can use extensions extensions have been in dark since the long but then they were removed uh, during the middle phase and then now they're back again they are still much more like in experimental phase but uh, i believe like they are very good and we can use them right now also so we define uh, extension you can give whatever name over here you want so i give it a name called college model x extends for extension and we are using this extension on the data class so we have this extension and now we can freely define whatever method we want to so this is how data classes are defined in uh, dart and can be generated very easily now let's move on to union classes over here i have set up a very small example for the union classes as you can see we have the same at the rate freeze after that we say the same exact class the class name with and dollar under underscore dollar with the class name again after that what we do over here is over here we gen we kept only one uh, factory that was uh, only uh, so which contained all of the data which we wanted so that made this class as a data class over here what we do is we define many factory constructors saying uh, will return classroom state with dot loading so we'll say let's say dot any method you want associated with this union class and we'll write the same into capital letters over here we can also have different names between these both but it's usually convention to follow the same now as these are methods we are uh, also passing whatever arguments we want so for failed we have over here some failure representation over here we are passing in the time slots the for, on the success we are passing in time slots likewise we can pass anything and for this for the same so classroom state is a part of a much uh, is a part of a block so uh, all the syntax which we saw in college model of part is in uh, as college called uh, classroom state is a part of called the classroom block so over here we have defined it uh, classroom block dot freeze dot dot so yeah that will be used over here so that's how we define our union classes now let's try to move on to much more complex example where we use both of them together so over here you can see we have the freeze annotation as always and then we have the abstract class class name with underscore dollar class name syntax after that we have this data class over here so we have this constructor login state uh, and all the data which we need over here after that we have one more dot initial also this syntax we saw if you can recollect we saw it over here this was not a part of data class so right now we made a hybrid we also utilizing the power of union class and we are also utilizing the power of data class these both can be used together to get to leverage the power of freeze a lot more so uh, over here if you see uh, login state is also a, a part of a bigger login block so right now i have been uh, explaining this with the context of block because uh, using freeze with the block gives you way much more power so over here 
login event so if we go to login event over here we can see that it's a union class now let's try to see what all can we what all features that does uh, freeze provides for the union class over here we can say event which is of type login event which is a union class so we can say event dot so we have a bunch of features over here map when maybe map maybe when out of all these uh, let's talk about map so over here if we see we have the sign in email changed password change and if we have a look in the union class we see all of these over here so sign in email chain password change so what we can do is we can say that we have this over here down we have implemented it so i have this sign in i have this email changed i have this password change now what i i receive this data if we see what e exactly is it is of type sign in if we see what e over here is it is of type email changed as you can see over here these types are defined over here sign in email change password change so now we can use them much more easily we can see e dot email any of the data passed on over here now let's try to understand other things uh, let's say that you don't want to handle all the cases so at that time we can provide maybe map maybe map has a or else so let's try to think it of as an advanced switch case which pro where we take the sign in email email change password change as the cases which we define and we also have if none of these we can use or else also the same is the case with the same is the case with when so we have seen now let's try to dig into some other features of freeze over here if you see the state the state over here is the login state and login state is the class which we just before talked about being a union class and a data class both so how we have leveraged that we'll see we have uh, so one of the other features provided by freeze is the copy with constructor so what we need to do what all data we have in this state or in uh, in other terms in this data class we will take that and only change these fields so all the other things will be copied this is also auto generated by the freeze package even the equal equal to part so uh, if if you have been using equitable you may know or uh, let's say to understand let's say to break it down uh, if you have two classes and you try to equate them in dart they will show that they are not equal even though they have they would have same data everything would be same and but different instances that's what makes it different over there at that time equit the uh, packages like equitable comes in rescue for us uh, even uh, when we want to compare two packet two classes like that we need to compare all the data in them and then we need to compare also the hash of both equitable does the same for but, but equitable is has solely that purpose freeze provides it as an additional features to all the other features which it provides so we have the equal equal to dot copy with and then dot to string so like we generally uh, define custom dot to strings we extend it and we define customly but over here freeze also provides it natively so we have seen how powerful freeze can be if you have if we have uh, a lot of cases we may uh, freeze forces us to use all of them of course as a developer like we can find out workarounds where we can neglect some cases like we i can delete all the code over here and say like i did not i pretend i did not see this case but 
at least it brought us to the point so that we need to consider that there is a sign in uh, event and then we are mapping it according to that so yeah this is uh, this is how powerful freeze can be i really suggest uh, everyone to look into it and associate it with block block and freeze together pro become very, very much more popular uh, much more powerful so uh, this is about this video um, if you have any doubts you can leave them in comment section thank you for your time